Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be here to not sure how to win larger contracts. Hmm. By the end of this video, you're going to have my game changer strategy that you can use to always implement a sales push in your business and never have to second guess anytime you want to have or initiate a sales growth in your business. Are you ready? For the best government contracting and business advice, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that bing notification bell so you get notified when I put out new videos right here on the channel happening every Thursday. <music> Several of my clients have used this strategy to win larger contracts, and now I want to share it with you. Okay, before I actually give you the strategy, I need to lay some groundwork, okay? Set the framework so that you're equipped to get your bang for your dollar, if you will, so you can um, get the best results, really, by using this strategy. So, before I give you the strategy, let me share what you need to have in place before you implement this strategy. Did you hear me? Before, okay? So you can start implementing uh, the groundwork today and then position yourself to be able to take advantage of this strategy, okay? It is a game changer for sure, but you need to have the groundwork laid if you wanna see the best results. Are you ready? Okay, so number one, this is really basic, but let me tell you, it needs to be said. You need to have a business, not a hobby, a business. You need to have an actual entity structure set up, okay? Entity structure, like your LLC, S-Corp, corporation, uh, LP, whatever it is, you need to have a legal entity structure, not a sole proprietor, okay? So make sure you have that in place. You also need to have um, your business bank account, okay? So all of the foundational things that you need to have in place to say, I'm an actual business. You need those things. The second thing is you really need to be very clear, very, very, very clear on who's your customer, okay? Um, the problem you solve, so the work that you do, the service that you provide, right? And here's a kicker. I feel like it needs to be said. You need to have experience in whatever you plan to offer. So you can't just pick something because you're like, oh my gosh, they, they are offering a lot of contracts for this one particular thing. I can make a lot of money. So this is what I'm gonna do, but you don't have any experience. So who's gonna give you a contract? Let's keep it real, shall we? Okay, so that's number two. Number three, you need to know what's a good deal for you. Not for the people down the street, not for the people in the office next to you, not for your buddy that you also know is doing government contracting and you want to be like them. What is a good deal for you? Because if you know what a good deal is for you and you're able to get in a deal that's good for you, it will take you to that next level, whatever that is you want to do, be, and have for your business and even in your personal life. So you need to be very clear on that as well. All right. And you need to be able to identify a good deal, all right? So that means really having clarity around the structure, um, the components of a good deal. You need to know those things, okay? So that's very, 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 very important. Okay, number four, you need to be visible and known. So you need to be visible and known, why? Because you need to talk to the right people, okay? And it all stems from, one, you knowing your business preferences, Two, you knowing your customer, and when you know your customer, then it's really easy for you to be visible, be seen, right, and get noticed, okay? So there you have it. You need to have a business, not a hobby. You need to be very clear on the problem you solve, the service you provide, right? The service you provide should provide uh, a solution to something their need, right? You need to know what's a good deal for you, and then you need to be visible and known, 
uh, meaning mingling with the right people, okay? So once you get that down, the foundation is set and you're ready to implement the strategy. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Comment below, a yes or no, no or yes. Yes or no, no or yes. Do you know who your target customer is today? As of this video, right now, who's your target customer? Do you know who they are? The second part of the question, do you know how to find them? Right? You can't get any contracts if you don't know who they are. So you need to know that. Okay, so here's the one strategy that I want to share with you that will definitely give you a sales push anytime you need it. It will also um, help you in growing your business, stepping into larger contracts, as well as increasing your revenues if you do it right, okay? This is the one strategy, partnering with other companies. Yes, okay? I like to start out with something like a team and arrangement. Um, I like to call that we're still in the dating phase, if you will. We haven't committed to marriage yet, but we are dating. We're going to fill each other out via, right, maybe working on a couple contracts together or bidding a couple contracts together, right? So we're dating. We're going to see how we like each other, right? If we can build that like, no, and trust factor. Now, ideally, you've already started building the like, no, and trust before the contract comes. But what I'm saying is it's different when you're actually working together on a contract or bidding a contract together that you know if it's one, you're going to deliver together, okay? So don't discount building a relationship before you bid together. So that's not what I'm saying. All right, so, but I like to start with teaming arrangements. They're really, really great, okay? Um, now, if you're going to do a teaming arrangement with someone partnering with them, um, you need to have the same customer, right? So hence foundation, who's your customer. All right. You also need to be doing the same type of work. Now they may be doing, uh, a variety of different type of, um, projects, but a portion, something in there has to be in alignment with what you do. So here's what I'm saying. For example, construction companies, if you do complete design bill, then you run the gamut of, an, of a project, right? You can go from dirt to here's a building or a parking garage or whatever it is. But you know within that, there's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of subdivisions of um, opportunities that you may fit in. So in essence, for that other company, if they're you know a complete design bill, they do it all. And so if you're a painter, then you know painting falls within the scope of their work on projects, right? So when I say the same type of work, that is what I mean. They can be doing more than you, but whatever you do, whatever uh, service you provide, they need to be doing that same thing as well so that it's a good fit and you can produce past performance, right? The other thing is you want to make sure the relationship is mutually beneficial, mutually beneficial. I can't stress that enough, okay? So here's the thing. Partnering with other companies will allow you to expand your business, increase your resources, land larger contracts, uh, increase your revenues, uh, give you some cash flow. And there's other uh, benefits as well with partnering with other companies beyond what I just shared here. You just have to know how to explore the options before you and pull out what you need to help your business grow and get to the next level that you desire. So you also need to know, you know, where you want to take your company in the next, you know, two to five years and things like that so that you're doing things today that will get you there. Okay. But here's the thing. No worries. I created a training called Create Your Best Deals. And that is something that I do share with my private clients. It's all about creating your best deal, making sure they're mutually beneficial and outrageously profitable, okay? So here's the thing. If you missed any of the previous videos in this series, remember, we're on our sales push, our 30-day sales push. This is video three in this four-part video series. I will put the link boom, down below uh, for the previous two videos if you missed those, okay? So again, this is video three in our third part, our, our four part video series, okay? So there you have it. Now you have the game changer strategy that you can give your business an immediate sales push, like in the next 30 days uh, to winning larger contracts, 
and making more money in your business. So I hope you're implementing on these strategies each week. One is building on the other, okay? So here's the thing. If you would like my help executing your government contracting plan, right, to increase your revenue and start winning larger contracts, book a call with me, all right? I'll put the link down below as well. And it is ask, A-S-K, FeliciaStreeter.com. Book a call. Let's talk about it. And if it's a good fit for us to work together, I will make the opportunity available to you right there on the call for us to make it happen. All right. Yeah. So you have the link below. All right. So don't forget to um, like this video if you were digging what I was putting down. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right. And while you're doing that, hit the bell so you can get notified when I drop these new hot game changer strategies right here on the channel for you every Thursday. All right. So have an awesome rest of your day and you know it. I'll see you right back here next week. Bye for now. <music>